All right, guys. Today, let's talk about coronavirus. sharing tentang gimana COVID-19 di Hong Kong. In terms of raising panic, a lot of companies are closing down because of the lack of customers. I kind of got fired from one of the jobs that I was working in because yeah there were no more customers when I filmed this video the situation in China already under control at the beginning scientists said this virus cannot separate from people to people that's why people doesn't really worry about this virus at all but after there are so many medical people get infected so start from that Chinese government pay more attention to this virus Quarantine laws have been placed. You're not allowed to go out of your house unless it's within a specific time span. 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. You have to stay inside the house. If you disobey any of the laws, you get fined. Ban mass gathering, kayak sports event, NBA, NFL. Terus memblokir semua flight yang dari dua minggu terakhir dari Eropa atau China. Since like mid March, mereka bikin regulasi buat menutup semua public places like. Cafes, restaurants. Chinese people had experience before 2003, the SARS virus also separate in China. Chinese government during back then didn't did a really good job, but this time they learned the experience from that disease. So now Chinese government shut down the city of Wuhan really really soon. You are forced to stay at home, and the food and everything. Government people will come and then give it to you so you are not allowed to go outside it is not a lockdown businesses are still running i think until first of june there will be no news about the lockdown even though we've already reached 10,000 count chinese government declared the lockdown really really quick today they know about it maybe two or three days later wuhan city already Lockdown. Perth itu udah mulai lockdown dari setahu gue tanggal 24 Maret Government cuma bilang kita harus lebih baik stay di rumah Dan menurut gue emang lebih baik stay di rumah They actually declared lockdown in Tokyo today But no one knows if it's official or not yet Yes, it was called community quarantine on March 12th It's only within Metro Manila You're not allowed to go out of Metro Manila And then March 15th, that was when they declared an enhanced community quarantine No domestic flights and no international flights To be honest, ini sesuatu yang bikin orang Hong Kong marah Jadi pas yang the first two months, mereka bahkan gak tutup border sama China Kita pun juga masih boleh keluar-keluar gitu I think Wuhan City is still locked Done. So they sacrifice a lot for the whole Chinese, even the whole world. So I think Wuhan people are really the hero for this time. They collect all the medical equipment from all over the country to support Hubei province. Even the military doctors get invited. This is pretty impressive for China too because usually uh, military only for against the enemy, right? But this time they also help Chinese people to against the virus. Sekarang ini kurang virus sudah di mana-mana. Jadi banyak orang yang udah lose their job. Federal government baru ngepas bill value-nya 2 triliun dolar AS. Uang untuk disebarin ke semua masyarakat AS masing-masing dapat 1200 dolar AS kalau nggak salah. I don't know about other cities but in the city that I live in they've been giving out rice I think every week. I just read the news actually tadi oh, sebelum <laughs> sebelum ini. <laughs> Sebenarnya publik tuh kecewa gitu loh karena government tuh nggak menyediakan masker untuk mereka semua. Jadi pas Januari oh, itu mereka yeah. harus ngantri berjam-jam untuk ngedapetin masker. They pick a national hero, Dr. Jong. Dr. Jong for us, the citizens, he is the authority. Because him back then in SARS virus, he also is one of the leader of the doctor during that virus. So in our heart, he is our hero. So whatever he said, we follow. So he start to on the media tell us how to wash hands and tell us we have to wear a mask and he called it the mask culture. I think this is the power of media because people very, very pay attention to this virus and then Chinese government build this hero so everybody just follow his lead no matter what he said 
We totally believe we never doubt him. In terms of the government, mereka emang bikin press conference at least once a week with update tentang how the country is handling the crisis. They've been releasing commercials about how to properly wash your hands and steps you can take to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Company langsung take effort. I'm not saying 100%, tapi langsung bolehin work from home, kasih fasilitas lah buat kita biar bisa working from home. Jadi kayak without the government doing much, so orang-orang Hong Kong udah langsung yes. action sendiri. Gercep sendiri. I think it's been pretty divided. Setengahnya ngerasa harusnya lockdown karena people feel like the government hasn't been taking the fastest action. But also at the same time, a lot of people also don't regret on the lockdown because it really affects the country's economy. Yeah, the public yang tinggal di sini, tentunya mereka sangat senang lah gitu ya karena mereka tahu negara ini bisa take care of mereka. Terakhir gua ke jalanan ada banyak anak muda gitu sombong, baju dibuka gitu terus batuk-batuk. Menurut gua itu sangat enggak sopan bisa nyebabin panik dan juga bisa membahayakan orang kalau mereka keluar enggak ada urusan cuma buat menyepelekan masalah ini. I don't think the public feels really good. I don't think anyone feels safe right now. I feel like everyone is a target. Yeah. Kita bilang kayak government Hong Kong tuh hebat ya. Mereka tuh bilang kayak enggak itu bukan karena government ya, tapi karena kita sendiri, kita sendiri gitu. Padahal menurut gua nih ini my personal opinion ya. Tracingnya very good and then manage to keep the numbers low. Kita juga pernah ada teman kita orang Indonesia juga dia sempat diisolasi. Itu ruangannya udah keruang VIP, tapi dia still think that the government has not done enough. Iya, kalau kita dari pandangan Indonesia mungkin bandingannya sama Indonesia. Iya, yeah, jadi, jadi kayak di sini kayak <laughs> bagus banget. Bagus, gitu. In China, we only have one political party, right? So whatever they said, we follow. People complain, but Chinese people understand about the situation, and then they understand why Chinese government did this. And now we can see the result. My favorite question, yes. Di sini itu orang-orang kan pakai toilet paper. Jadi sempat ada waktu-waktu di mana semua orang tuh panik shopping lah ya untuk toilet paper. Jadi di mana-mana habis. But we're Asians, we don't have to worry about that. I don't care which one. Jadi ya ada cowok satu bapaknya sama anaknya dress up as stormtrooper and they're giving out toilet paper to everyone. So it's pretty fun. Yeah, gua ada video dan I put a smile on my face. Beberapa minggu lalu, salah satu partai dari Belanda namanya Kroon Links dia membuat acara jam 8 malam kita semua yang di rumah tepuk tangan buat every medical worker in the Netherlands and it went really viral in the country and I think the medical workers really appreciate it. Recently McDonald tuh tutup di atas jam 6 nggak boleh dine in. McDonald itu kan di sini 24 hour di mana biasanya orang-orang homeless tuh pada tidur di situ. Nah, jadi sejak tutup ini mereka tuh nggak nggak tahu mau tidur di mana. Mereka like extend their help to provide a place to sleep buat homelessness in, homeless ini yang biasanya tidur di McDonald. I think it's opposite in Japan. There's a lot of tweet people like fighting over like like the last mask. Japanese people have a really hospitable culture, so it's like really shocking that, you know, they're at this time, panicking. that everyone's panicking and like a lot of people are saying that they're, we're like losing the beauty of Japan's hospitality. In the convenience store that I work in, they did do an act of kindness and it was- Oh really? Yeah. So we put a bunch of tissues out and we wrote like, if you're struggling to have tissues, you could take one for free, oh, like really? that. But please only take it when you really don't have t toilet paper, but you could take it for free. If you have a chance to not going out, just don't go out because this is the only chance I think so far in my life which I can contribute my country just by staying at home and sleep. <laughs> you don't need to do anything. Just lie on the bed and you are contribute to the country. People will thank you for staying at home. So I think it's pretty interesting. Social distancing is basically you not staying too close to another human being. Every store now, you have to line up because they limit the amount of people that are allowed to get into a store. And when you line up, there are lines that you have to stay on so that everybody practices social distancing. I know a lot of people can find it really, really hard, uh, especially people who have mental health struggles. But if you know that we're doing it for a better cause, I think it will help you understand this 
situation better. I think people are happy to do it gitu loh. Bukan kayak, I'm sorry to say kayak gue yang gue tau di Indonesia tuh kayak orang-orang Aduh bosen lah di rumah, bikin boba lah, kopi susu lah. Tapi orang sini tuh justru malah kayak mereka take their own initiative untuk tidak di rumah mereka karena mereka merasa resikonya terlalu uh, tinggi untuk keluar. Apalagi untuk mereka yang tinggal serumah sama orang tua gitu. Right now it's Sakura season in Japan. I'm supposed to stay at home but actually went yesterday. And when I went, I was really surprised that there's a lot of people yeah. doing hanami. Ever since Corona happened, because kids don't have to go to school anymore, the amount of kids at parks, the number exploded. Like it was like completely full. And I work at a nursery school, and every day for one hour, we take the kids to the park. And even with the COVID-19, we took them to the park, and it was like a war zone. Like usually there isn't that many kids. There were like three times more kids than usual, and everyone's like trying to kill each other. So social distancing isn't really happening in Japan or what from what I see firsthand. Tentunya stay di rumah, semua ya, senang aja. aja Walaupun nomor teman kita sepetak dan kecil Jadi kalian bagian di Indonesia yang punya rumah gede dan bisa di rumah aja Bersyuklah Terus supaya gak bosen kita tiktokan Bagi yang mau kita tiktok kita <laughs> Try not to touch things Whatever things it is I wash my hands and sanitize yeah. like there's no tomorrow Yeah, sanitize this is our pet Kalau misalnya mau batuk, make sure you're not using your hand You're using your cough rocket videos Ya, karena di sini kan area yang kita nggak sering pakai lah kalau tangan kan di mana mana kita pakai gitu. If I do go out to get groceries or whatever, the first thing I do is go to the bathroom and like take a bath. Also drinking vitamin C, staying healthy, eating a lot of veggies. Semoga bisa membantu terutama teman-teman yang masih di Indonesia kan COVID-19 tuh baru naik kan angkanya. Tolong inisiatif untuk mendidik diri sendiri sama orang lain soal ini karena banyak orang yang nggak ngerti masalah ini tuh resikonya apa. Gue jamin kita semua bisa look past this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Lai again. Follow us on our Instagram at Gada Culture and we also have TikTok now so follow us there too also at got a culture and we will see you guys in the next video stay clean and stay safe people take care everyone <laughs> from me sarah and june june this two shall pass bye wash your damn hands